This is a house plant that was produced by a professional grower. It's spotless, no disease, no pest, and it's thriving. How do they do this consistently while we struggle? In this video, I'll share with you six things that the pros do that if we do, will make our plants thrive. Stay with me until the end and the last tip will take you to a pro level. So let's get right into it. The first practice professional growers excel at to grow plants that thrive is to monitor their plants. Professional growers are diligent in observing their plants for any signs of stress, pest, or disease. They routinely inspect leaves, stems, and roots to identify any issues early on. Sometimes they even have a dedicated scout that's sole job is to run throughout the nursery looking for these potential problems before they get out of hand. Now, you don't have to go that far, but you can adopt this practice by routinely examining your plants, checking for stress, discoloration, unusual growth patterns, or pest infestations, so that you can be consistent. The best time to do this is when you're watering your plants. It's great because we're hands-on looking at our plants. Take your time, think of it as meditation and flip the leaves over looking for pests. And if you can pop the plant out of the pot or use a transparent pot and look at the roots. Look for disease, pest, perhaps if it's root bound, are there any foul smells and what is the overall health of the soil? By identifying these problems early on, you can take prompt action to address them and keep your plants healthy and thriving. The pros understand the importance of proper watering techniques for each plant variety. They pay attention to the individual plant's needs, considering factors such as potting mix and drainage. We can follow suit by learning the specific water requirements of our plants and adjusting our watering routines accordingly. It's essential to water thoroughly, allowing excess water to drain and avoid both overwatering and underwatering, which is the number one plant killer. The best growers I know don't water on a schedule, but rather when the plant needs it. And if we want our plants to thrive, we should do the same. Determine how dry the soil should be before we water based on each individual plant and water when the plant needs it, not when we want to water. Another thing that professional growers pay close attention to is lighting. As you know, it plays a crucial role in plant development. They provide optimal levels of lighting, depending on the needs of the plant by increasing the amount of light with natural sunlight by putting them in full sun or using artificial grow lights. Or as in the case with the tropical house plants we know and love, they usually decrease the amount of light these plants receive with the use of shade cloth. We can do the same. And being that we're growing indoors, we tend to have a little more control. If we have a plant that needs less light, we can move it away Away from the window or back the grow light away from it. If it's more light they need, you can add a grow light or move it to a window that provides more sunlight. When changing the location of your plant, try to do it in slow increments to reduce stress and the possibility of leaf burn due to a higher intensity of light. Regular pruning and maintenance to promote healthy growth and maintain the overall appearance of their plant is something that the pros do to keep their plants looking their best. They remove dead or damaged foliage, trim leggy stems, and shape plants as needed. You can do the same by routinely inspecting your plant and carrying out necessary pruning to encourage bushier growth, redirect the plant's energy to healthier parts, and maintain an overall neat appearance, which only enhances the plant's health. Hoyas come to mind when thinking of a plant that benefits from pruning. When it starts, it's a couple cuttings in a pot. By pruning, we encourage the cutting to break and grow into a fuller plant. Professional growers adapt their care routines based on seasonal changes. They understand that plants have different needs depending on the time of the year. During the cooler months, as temperatures drop, plants generally require less water due to reduced evaporation and slower growth. So they make the necessary changes to their watering frequency to prevent overwatering and allow the soil to dry out slightly between waterings. We can learn from this and do the same. We can monitor the moisture levels in the soil and adjust watering accordingly to prevent root rot. Also during these cooler months, professional growers may adjust their fertilization schedule to provide plants with lower amounts of nutrients. Over fertilization during this time is more likely as the plants are not actively growing and therefore don't use Use these nutrients. This can lead to salt buildup in the soil and ultimately burning the roots of your plant. As a plant parent, during these seasonal changes like the pros do, we should also look at light, temperature, drafts, and humidity and make the necessary changes to provide them with their ideal environment. And then the number one thing that the pros do to grow almost perfect plants is that they take the time to learn the needs of their plants before starting to grow them. They ask other growers growing the same plant, look for information in books and online, and like us, go through a lot of trial and error. We can learn from them and do the same. We can look for answers from trusted sources online, join helpful houseplant communities, and subscribe to Monstro Farm. <clears throat> look, no one's born with a green thumb. And even what's taught in school and books is theory with a little practice. The best growers will 
will tell you that they got to where they're at from experience. So get your experience. Kill a few plants along the way, but trust me, you will get your result if you keep trying. Now that you know how to grow like a pro, propagate like one. Click here. Let me show you how.